A nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't kill anyone. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired anyway. This will hide the blood, in case anyone comes in the room. I'll change the sheets later. That should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. My parents, Marcus and me, before the accident. trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Yesterday. that I was wearing last night. They're covered in blood. I'd better not leave them there.
New York Police, please open the door. Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. These images in my head, I, I must be losing my mind. in the restroom of an East End restaurant. The victim was stabbed several times with a steak knife. While just yards away, other customers were calmly eating their meals. Investigators are already on the trail of a suspect who fled the scene just before the body was discovered. Police have no other comment for the time being, but stay tuned for updates into this. Police, please open the door. The police, they know. They, they've come to arrest me. Police, open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got to... Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. What happened to your wrist, sir? I told you, I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Go on, Mr. Kane.